Alright, to do an oil change on an 03 Nissan Altima. First, you're going to want some sort of ratchet. This is a half inch, you can use three quarter two, or even quarter inch. I wouldn't use quarter inch. You're going to need a 14 millimeter socket. You're also going to need a small oil filter wrench. Then you're obviously going to want to change your oil filter. This particular one is a Wix filter. It is a 57356. Um, you don't have to use a Wix filter. This is just the one that is available for me. Whatever is available for you, you can get. You're also going to want your oil. Not just one quart, but you're going to want five quarts. Uh, this is just 530 standard. And then last but not least, you're going to want something to catch all your oil in. And if you don't want a mess, don't forget, you just want... I mean, man, this thing's crusty. But you're going to want some sort of funnel to put your oil in when you're all done. You're also going to need some sort of jack to jack the car up or a jack stand to hold it up then. However, whatever saves for you, you do what you need. If you have one, you have one. I recommend it. Gives you more room to work. On the passenger side of the car, if you look directly to its right, is an oil pan. If you go to the other side of the car where the driver sits, there's another oil pan. This is for your transmission. Do not touch that one. You want the oil pan on the left hand side of the car. On the left hand side of the car is your engine oil and that's the one we're changing today. On the back end of it towards the back of the car is going to be uh, the bolt we're taking out to drain the oil pan. Um, and then to the left of your engine oil pan, if you go up, Right there, the white filter is the oil filter. And all you have to do is take both of these out, let the car drain a bit, and then put them right back in, and you're halfway done with your oil change. Once you get your oil filter back in and also your drain plug back in, once the oil is all drained out, the last step is to put the oil back in your car.
All right, as you saw in the video, once you put your oil into the car, all you're gonna to wanna to do is first check your oil. That's what that was. I'm saying it now because it's very windy today and it's not windy inside the car. Then once the oil level looks good, you wanna make sure it is at the, um, well I pointed at it, right at the top, the high mark there. You don't want it any higher. Like you don't wanna go like five, like seven quarts into this car. Too much oil can just can do just as much damage as too little oil. So make sure you're right between those two lines and you're pretty good. So once those two lines are good, you're gonna to wanna to start your car then for like about a minute. Then let it sit for another couple minutes. Then you check your oil again. And if it still looks good in the right level, look underneath, make sure you have no leaks, everything's good and tight, then you're good to go.